Ben, we're here at Beaver Stadium, and the Bill O'Brien era kicks off with a sobering 24 to 14 loss to Ohio of the Mid American Conference. Wow, uh, are people stunned right now? I mean, Ohio was picked as uh, the MAC favorite and, and to win the league a little bit, but you know, for everything that this game had, you know, everything was building towards this one game. And then first half, Penn State comes out, leads it 14 to three, going to the locker room. Second half, they get shut out. What is kind of pulse of uh, of this program right now? Yeah, I, I agree that it was a, a sobering moment. I think that people, especially before the game, with all the emotional moments, you know, you feel like Penn State's going to come out of the gate and just and just uh, hit Ohio in the teeth. And you know, Ohio's a good team. Like you said, they're they're favored to win the conference. They, I mean, they could go undefeated at this point as long as they don't screw up down the road. I think, I think that you know, Penn State's obviously going to improve because every team improves as the, as the season goes along. But I, I think that they. Uh, got to see the things that they need to work on. The defense isn't where it needs to be, and, and the offense sort of stalled out in the, the later stages of the second half. So you know, Bill O'Brien didn't start off his uh, season the way he wanted to, but you know, there's, there's plenty of room for improvement. Yeah, a, a quick, in, a quick uh, injury update for, for you guys. Steph Morris and Bill Belton have sprained ankles. Uh, I've been told by a couple of players that Bill Belton should be fine. Uh, going into practice this week. Uh, Steph Morris, from, from what you were able to see, I guess it was carted off with, a, with an ice pack. Yeah, he had, it, was, it, it looked essentially like the same injury that Belton had just on the, on the opposite leg. So, you know, it, I, I would imagine if the injuries are similar that they would both be able to play. But you just wait and see. Yeah, we, we don't know how severe they are. What we do know is that uh, neither player is expected to get an MRI this week, so that's certainly good news. Uh, yeah. Hopefully nothing's broken in there. Hodges had a heavy wrap on his right leg for much of the game. No clue uh, what that injury is at this time. Uh, Bill O'Brien was pretty mum on the injury update uh, yeah. after the game. Uh, Jordan Hill had a similar wrap on on his leg after the after the game, uh, or excuse me, during the game in the fourth quarter. He said he had gotten a bruise on his knee. His knee had buckled a little bit. Uh, scary moment, but it was just a, a bandage for to, uh, for precautionary reasons. Um, Ben, Penn State uh, gave up a lot of third down conversions to Ohio this game, and, and in particular, I think the, the key moment for a lot of people was that, that nine play, 93 yard drive in the fourth quarter that, that put Ohio up for good, uh, a 10 point lead. What did, what, is, uh, what did you see from, from that drive and, uh, and, and the defense on that? I think I just saw a defense that looked tired at the end of the game. They looked like they were gassed and just didn't have that extra gear to make the play that they needed to. So often that you see, you're used to seeing Penn State defenses making that play that they need to to give the offense an opportunity to, to go out and win, and, and they never made that play, and that could be, you know, a lot of different reasons, injuries, or not injuries, but, you know, fatigue, it could be the scheme, it could just be that Ohio was the better team today, so, you know, it'll be interesting to see how they respond against Virginia. We'll, we'll leave you with this. It's one game. It's a disappointing loss. Uh, some key players sat out for, for parts of this game. Is it time to panic? Um, I don't think it's time to panic. Ohio's a good team. But uh, at the same time, I, I do think that, like we said, it's a sobering moment for the program. So I think, you know, you see how they play against Virginia, you see how they play against Navy, and then you you go from there. You decide whether it's time to, to worry a lot or not. Yeah, Matt McGloin looked good. The offense looked crisp at times in the first half, sputtered a bit in the, in the second half. Uh, you know, he missed on a couple deep balls. Uh, you know, the, the pass tip or the tipped pass that went for the 43 yard score to, to lead off the second half. Turning point in the game, Adrian Amos says uh, on the defensive side of the ball. Uh, but, you know, they'll go back to work Monday. We'll see Bill O'Brien on Tuesday. Hopefully, he provides uh, some more, you know, sheds some more light on, on the state of his team then than he did after the game. But uh, we, will, we will see you then. For Ben Jones, I'm Nate Mink, and we're with statecollege.com. See ya.